Hi John, how are you? My name's Danielle, I'm from Q Radio. You're looking lovely. Thank you. <laughs> How's it being at an award ceremony like this? Is this what you always dreamed of? Is it, is it quite a new experience for you? Well, yeah, it's my first one, so I'm really happy. So, yeah, it's good. I mean, Amy done amazingly, so there we go. Absolutely brilliantly. So do you talk to her about what you're going to wear to an event like this? We're also from mywardrobe.com today. Um, well, she actually said, wear this. And I was like, at first I was a bit like, all right, if you say so, because it's a bit low cut. So I was a bit like, OK. But then once I put it on, I was like, you know what, it looks fine. Excellent. And when can we see you live on the road? Because obviously you're on TV now, your album's being advertised. So it must have been amazing sort of six months ago from what you were and practicing with Amy to now being, you know, people know who you are now. Yeah, it's been really good. I mean, once I've done Strictly, it all just went bang. But I mean, I'm on this morning on Wednesday, so that's really good. And my album's going better than I could ever imagine, so. Obviously that song has been so important to you. Do you remember the time that you wrote it and when you thought it was finished and... No, I'm joking. I, I was in America when I wrote it um, in Los Angeles. Actually, that's not true. I was in uh, Gloucestershire in, uh, in a little cottage and it was the first, one of the first three songs I wrote for the whole record and it kind of like set the, set the tone for the rest of it really. So yeah, it was really important. Congratulations on your award. That must be quite an accolade. What a massive tilt of the hat. Fantastic, yeah. I'm really, really delighted. I, I've never had an award from Great Britain. Oh, really? Many abroad but never in the UK? Yeah. That must be quite a nice sort of like... It's really a great feeling, yeah. Is it a feeling of uh, contentment in a way or is there still plenty more you can do? No, it's a feeling that I've been recognised for what I've been doing and I'm so glad. Absolutely. Now you've worked with lots of people throughout your career, obviously. I mean, people like Nick Cave and Jarvis Cocker, just to name two, obviously. Is there anyone here today that would be perhaps your icon or someone? Who would you describe as your icon if you were going to give a, that award to somebody else? My real icon is Billie Holiday.